Subscribe this channel please. Few things in the automotive world have remained consistent for 75 years. In spirit, purpose, and, to an extent, execution, the bloodline of the Jeep Wrangler has done so. The direct descendant of the GP military runabout whose production for the US Armed Forces started in 1941, the 2016 Wrangler remains a preeminent off-roader with an instantly recognizable face, even as it has grown into a larger, heavier, and more comfortable device serving civilians. Jeep marks its icon's diamond jubilee by offering cushy 75th anniversary editions of several models. We strapped our test equipment to the coolest of the lot, a Wrangler Unlimited 75th edition. The 2016 Wrangler 75th edition start out as mid-grade Wrangler Sahara models before being loaded up with $4,680 worth of extras, most of which could never have been imagined by the factory workers at Ford and Willys as they scrambled to assemble more than half a million GPs between 1941 and 1945. While gear-laden GIs would have been lucky to sit on anything comfier than a sheet metal bench while traversing crater-riddled roads in wartime Europe, our test wrangler boasts heated front seats and a rear bench upholstered in saddle-colored leather and mesh fabric, with red stitching and commemorative logos embossed at shoulder level. The gauge rings, door handles, and air vent bezels don a metallic bronze color called Moroccan Sun, and the floor is protected by all-weather slush mats. Outside, the 75th edition gets bronze-hued bumpers and 17-inch wheels, a power dome hood, and a specific to this model color option, Sarge Green, which practically makes onlookers stand up and salute. Our test example came with additional options totaling nearly 9 grand. A big chunk of that sum went into the roof, $1,785 to swap the Wrangler's epically complex folding soft top for the three-piece, rigid freedom top, which was then coated in $1,100 worth of Sarge green paint and padded with a fancy $495 headliner. Another $1,350 was added for the 5-speed automatic transmission with hill descent control, while remote start cost another $495. Other options included automatic climate control, $395, a navigation-equipped infotainment system with a 6.5-inch touchscreen, $600 and an audio system with nine Alpine speakers, including an all-weather subwoofer under the cargo floor, $945. Finally, our 75th edition came with a $1,500 locking rear differential that's not available on standard Sahara's and also brings 3.73 to 1 front and rear axle ratios. The Wrangler is mini-like in its list of personalization options, as with many. Ticking every box that strikes your fancy is costly, at $48,630, this one was far and away the most expensive Wrangler we've ever tested, and at £4,598, it was also the heaviest by a 13-pound margin, 